What's up guys, today I'm gonna teach you how you can create this dope depth effect inside of After Effects, let's go. My name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. So today, shout out to Lone World, he did it again. He created this dope depth effect for a new YT music video. Honestly, it's really dope and he combines it with some mixed media effects to create a really cool look. Super easy to create, let's get straight into it. So first things first, we are going to Rotoscope. If you don't know Rotoscope, you can check out this video linked right here, it's super easy to do. Anyways, once you have your clip Rotoscope just like this, we're gonna go over here to our floating 3D objects pack and we're just gonna go ahead and drag and drop some 3D objects, some lean cups. I love this pack because it not only comes with a bunch of floating 3D objects, that I can add to my scene super easily, but they're also all green screen and 4K and super high quality and just create a really dope look. I'm gonna go to my effects and presets right here, search for the key light effect, apply this key light to our floating object, select the green and key it out and boom, there we go. Now we have an individual isolated lean cup. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the drop down, hit the drop down on transform, go to the very beginning, hit the keyframe at the position and I'm gonna drag this right here to the bottom. Then I'm gonna go like towards the end of the clip right here and I'm just gonna drag this up to the top so that way once we play it out, Ta-da, it looks like the cup is like floating to the top. And of course, since we rotoscoped it, we're gonna drag it behind our rotoscope layer. Boom, there you go, there you pretty much have it. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this three more times. And by the way, if you wanna get this pack, it's available at our website, 11percent.net. And actually, because I appreciate you guys watching this, I'm gonna give you guys this code right here, which is gonna give you exclusive 11% off on the floating 3D objects pack only for people who watch this video. So uh, appreciate you guys. Now it's time for the AI effects. I'm gonna go to this website right here called runwayml.com. Honestly, this one has been truly on the come up. It's been a game changer since 2023, since the very beginning, but it's really easy to use. It's also free. Go ahead and create a new account. And then once you have your new account, scroll over here to where it says AI tools, click view all tools. And we're going to scroll over here to where it says extract depth. Now, for those of you who don't know, depth is basically for like Blender Cinema 4D when you want to create 3D scenes and make it feel 3D, but you don't want to animate everything. It can basically take a screenshot of a flat image and then interpret how much space there is between between everything in a 3D field. Honestly, really cool technology and it's even better now that AI can do it itself. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the clip right here that we exported with the floating cups. We're gonna drag and drop that into our file right here. And boom, now it's done uploading. We have our clip, super easy. All I do is hit the button that says process and boom, there we go. Now we have a rendered depth effect from our video clip. You can see it's literally the video clip just with a, a depth effect applied. I'm gonna hit export. And then I believe because it's the free version, you can only download in 720, but that's fine. It's just for the tutorial. By the way, this video is by no means sponsored by Runway ML, but Runway, if you do want to sponsor us, I love you guys' tools. Somebody tag Runway in the comments. I can just go ahead and download it and drag it into After Effects. Now, because it's in 720, it's a little bit small, but it's all right. I'm just going to scale it up. Now, we're going to do a couple things to spice this up. First off, as you saw in the video, the original one, it was blue. So I'm actually going to be using a free plugin. This is VC color vibrance vc color vibrance is honestly actually an 11 year old plugin now it's for free you can get it at videocopilot.net i love this though just a lot more than hue saturation because you can see right here we have a gray matte clip and once i apply it ta-da now our clip is green uh, and you can actually just change this to whatever color you want so i'm going to set it to that like bluish color like that and then hit okay and ta-da. Now we got a cool blue depth of field effect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and search for the glow effect. I'm gonna take this glow and apply it right here also to that depth layer. I'm going to increase the radius. And honestly, that's looking pretty good as is. It really depends on your clip and how bright everything is, but because ours is a little bit darker, the threshold works perfect here. Now we're gonna add some textures. So I'm gonna go back to my effects and presets. I'm gonna search for noise. I'm gonna apply just standard noise to our clip right here. I'm gonna increase this up to around like 23-ish maybe. And and then I'm going to uncheck the uh, use color noise, maybe a little bit lower, like 8%. Now I'm gonna go back to my effects and presets one more time and search for the posterized time. Now the reason I'm doing posterized time is because I'm doing the mixed media effect that was in the Lone Wolf video. So I'm gonna apply it and now you can see I have this frame rate option. I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna change the frame rate to 12 frames per second and ta-da, now once we play it out, you can see it has this really trippy stop motion effect. I'm gonna go back to my finder and this time I'm actually gonna be using our mixed media newspaper effect overlay pack and this one is honestly really cool i had a lot of fun making this one it just has a bunch of mixed media textures that you can drag and drop and just key out the green screen so i'm actually going to be using let's go ahead and use this one this is one of my favorite go-to ones right here apply that and then search for the key light effect of course once again apply the key light key out the green and boom there we go now we got some mixed media effects lastly we're going to go to this other folder which is textures and you can see right here we have this nice like paper texture i'm going to go ahead and apply that to our video right here Change 
change the blending mode to screen on that and ta-da, now we have like a really dope looking mixed media effect going on. But we're not done. One last thing that we have to do to spice everything up is we're gonna add some camera shake. Can't go wrong with the camera shake. Go to layer, hit new, and then create a new adjustment layer. The adjustment layer is gonna appear in your timeline. I'm gonna zoom in right here on the beginning. I'm gonna go in about like maybe eight to 10-ish frames like this. Hit Command Shift D to split and cut your layer. Drag my playhead back to the very beginning. Go back to your effects and presets over here. And this time we're gonna search for the Shake It Up V2 camera pack. Now this is a camera preset pack that we made 11%. It has over 50 plus camera shakes that are compatible with Premiere Pro and After Effects. All I have to do is select a camera shake preset. I'm gonna drag hit number two right here to our adjustment layer drop it and ta-da now we have some camera shake going on i'm going to drag this a couple frames in and then interestingly what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select all these layers that we just edited and trim them down so that way there's like a transition effect so once we play it out, it starts off normal and then it converts into like a depth mixed media effect. I honestly think the newspapers are just a little bit too much for this right now. So I'm just gonna turn that visibility off and boom, there you go. There you have it, a dope mixed media depth effect. I hope you found something useful from this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're interested in downloading the floating 3D city objects pack or the mixed media newspaper pack, they're both linked below in the description with this exclusive code right here for this video. So you can get 11% off and also if you want to learn how to edit three times faster and triple your productivity as a video editor inside of After Effects, you should check out this video linked right here.